Art history is a way to study the past, and I would say the past you know, ranges all the way from prehistory to yesterday. Art isn't just you know, shapes and blocks and just a bunch of randomness. There's a deeper meaning behind it, and with those deeper meanings, you know, it's not just a pretty picture. It's more than that. For me, art history is about using art to learn about the cultures and ideas that a certain era has presented. Um, by looking at art, you can get a lot of good view into what the different eras saw as important, what they wanted to depict, um, what they saw as power, stuff like that. I chose art history as a minor because of the first class that I took. It was Art History 111, and I fell in love with the class, and I had a feeling that I just knew that art history is for me. Like, I just knew it as soon as I took the class. And after that, after that semester, I filed my art history minor paperwork, and that's where it started. So an art history minor at Ferris State is 18 credits, so that ends up being six classes. Um, we've set it up in such a way so you can complete the minor in two years. I think, um, I think all students should consider art history as a minor because of the opportunities that the art history minor gives. Um, I've been to Europe twice and I never imagined that I would even be able to travel like out of the United States. I actually got to travel abroad. So one of my lifelong dreams as a child was always to go to Paris. This summer I got a chance to go to Paris. It was amazing. We visit big cities, cultural capitals. Um, we're also visiting smaller towns, maybe even villages. And of course, we're visiting the museums. We're also visiting you know, the town squares and looking at what's set up in public spaces. In every situation, we're trying to think about the artistic choices that were made. You look at vast periods of time in the various different cultures, Egyptian, Persian, French, all those different cultures, so it really helps make you have a deepened sense of cultural knowledge, which is very important in a more globalized world that we're becoming, because it can help you relate to someone from different areas of the world. We get the opportunity to look at these things, um, walk around these things with students, and really um, dive deep and try to analyze and interpret what's being communicated. How an architect uses space, um, how a painter uses color, how a sculptor maybe uses form or texture. When it comes to an artist's decisions and their intentions in their paintings, um, I think we see a lot of that in our own lives. And like a, like a Monet painting, uh, we we don't always see the bigger picture when we start, but every day is a little bit of a brush stroke. And with Monet and his Impressionism, a lot of those strokes, when you look up at them real close, they're just little colors here and there, but when the painting's finished and you get to step back in life, it's one big picture and it all comes together. Art history itself gives you this beautiful sense of culture and, and you get to look at art in a way that most people don't understand how to look at art, and you get to see beauty beyond something that would be typically beautiful. It's a really unique cultural aspect of all of humanity. Maybe you're somebody that has great artistic ability, maybe you're somebody that doesn't. Um, both kinds of people are welcome in art history classes and in the minor. Um, because it, it's, it's the study of expression. And of course, we all express in, in many different ways. And of course, we all interpret um, expression in different ways. And that's something that's welcome in our classes. 